ada botas tak lagi bakal mesti Oh my god, yo. <clears throat> that shit was on the line. That shit was supposed to be money. I'm about to school this nigga. What? What? That shit crazy. Hey, nigga. Close enough for me on this trip. Go. Whoa. He too little. Good boy. Pass that rock. Uh. Ah, let's go. That rock, Kimba. They got three stars on their team. Jeremy Tatum, Kimba. Ah, oh, boy, we out. Oh, okay. So I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Let's go. the fuck out of here, I'm about to say. Ah, turn up on this nigga. More Tatum. Out of Twitch, 
Oh! That was supposed to drop. Yeah, he dropped it. That's one I want to outline. Because Jesus Christ, he's saying, now I know you. You're very careful when you say media. Allegedly. That's soft, nigga. It seems feasible. It seems feasible. Fuck out of here. Like being able to see something and the intent behind it was more personal. Every sniper killed that I had felt different. Some people say, oh, just get used to it. I never felt that. Are you at a point right now where you can live your normal life and it doesn't haunt you anymore? I would say I am now. Who's the greatest sniper of all time? Carlos Dascon, a Marine sniper. That was my idol, and I think that to this day that he is the best sniper god like to me. When he went in to go take out the being called commander, surrounded by himself, it was basically a suicide mission where he attached the neural scope to the modern 50 cal machine gun and sniped and took out a Vietnamese commander at one point two miles away. And that was where we get the Barrett sniper of rifle from to defend city on that. First confirmed, this is the last confirmed. Was there a meeting behind the last one? Not my last kill, my last mission. So I lost my friend Benjamin Cox. I almost lost my life, my Jonathan team, pinned down by an enemy sniper and surrounded, and watching the guy come in and save our life, and watching him die like five minutes after that. That was my determination that I was not going to reenlist for the My guest today is Nicholas Arby, a.k.a. The Reaper, who is a sniper, and not only any sniper, he was the first black Sniper in Army 3rd Ranger Battalion that was deployed in combat. I believe he has 33 confirmed kills in a matter of four months in a tour to Afghanistan. Is this is going And he had a nickname oh, for his, so I just let him tell you what oh, we get oh, into it. So, come on, Nicholas, I haven't said that, thank you so much for being just on that team. Hey, thank you for having me on. So, first of all, thank you for your service, you know, for somebody to get in and, and, and then... You know, that should have been wet. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, it is. And you're putting your stuff on the line. And damn, man. You know, it's going to fucking hit my but, phone. Uh, God damn. What, what made a person like you say, I want to be a sniper? How does that happen? To be honest, it was... Well, I would say Charlie Sheen, but that stems from all uh, the movie Navy Seals, but it derives from my dad. Both of my parents were... Um, in the army. Uh, that's where my parents met. That's where I was born. I was born in Augsburg, Germany, um, while they were both uh, in the military. And seeing my dad at a young age, I had to be maybe four years old, and I watched him raise the, the flag one day um, at his building, and he was wearing the army green uniform, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And it kind of intrigued me ever since then. I wanted to be like my dad, so wearing his military uniform and they try and disrupt the flow of the game. Military and reading books. It, it, it started as a very, so. very, very young kid. Wow. Wow. What was your dad's MOS? They're trying to get back. They were both, uh, they both had the same MOS. They were counterintelligence. Fuck so, uh, oh, and one. I don't know exactly. Fucking the, hack. Something. I honestly have no idea what the uh, MOS was. They were counterintelligence during the, the Cold War. That's wet. So they like did more code and stuff like that. So, so they're, they're, I mean, you have to score very high on the ASVAB to get into any kind of military intelligence. So your parents are very... Oh, I couldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> I was not there. I, I didn't qualify to have that job. Yeah, the, I remember when I went and took my test and they came back with the score, they said, yeah, you got two options. I said, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Infantry right. or Hummer Mechanic? I said, you know what? I'm going to play with Hummer Delivery, so I took Hummer Mechanic. Oh, that's so, all right. Uh, so, ah, so, get that so, board. so what, what, I, what I don't know of is... Come on, Hawkless. So, you, you go in, you know, you got boot camp. Oh, that's, oh, oh. Changing it. So whatever the time yeah. is, you have AIT. That's crazy. Let's get training, it. And then you have any kind of secondary, you know, school that you take. What is the process of becoming a sniper that you can walk us through? Um, for my, I'm um, special wow, operations. That's wet. So the, the pipeline on the site was a little bit. That's a ball, nigga. So I did the, you're right. Get that, nigga. That's wet. The Army basic training. Oh, come on, man. Did. Uh, they changed it to where the be jam in my stats. So I can't get no assist with these bums. They call it OSIT when I went in. It was and Randall, nice, you know, man. Why they got this nigga playing like this? I believe it was 14 weeks. Are you going and with that rock? Right oh, he that, caught me. Uh, I should have known. Damn. Uh, that's that was five weeks of, you know, getting used to heights, which I'm yeah, terrified air. of. Whoopsie. And learning how to jump out of planes, and mm. you should have five jumps. Get that right back. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with you. Right out of airborne school. 
Somebody cut to the basket. Go, 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 go. We out. Woo. And one. Y'all niggas are slow, man. How y'all niggas running slower than me and I got the ball? So, yeah. Long, long, long fight. That's pretty intense. So, so you got your one uh, station unit training. Airborne school. You have to jump five times. Then you go to the basket. Then you go four months ranger school out of 857. You were one of the 6th, 3rd battalions in Afghanistan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, there's no way in hell. Slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Come on. Oh, what? Uh, the... so after, yeah. You know, you I'm done with these guys, you kidding me? Come on, man. Slow down, slow down. I'm off 35 pounds in that school, and I didn't sleep much. So I got sick, and it was a bad, bad experience. You normally lose a lot of weight, about 20 pounds, but I lost 35. Oh, damn. I didn't right. that school. So after that, then it was sniper school. Then it was sniper school. So, so sniper school, you know, if, if, if you know, Come on. But what I right, man, know too big. You and I can join the Navy. And while man, we're signing yeah, yeah, up to go to the Navy, we can say we want to go to the Navy. We need to be a Navy SEAL. I didn't know you could do that right off the bat. Right? I thought it's kind of like you go Oh, uh, come on, man. Run the play. Why you going to run in front of me, dude? Or circle or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something you requested from day one, or was it something that came later on? It came later on. Okay. Um, Got it. So, yeah, like when I first had my contract, I wanted to ask that, but there was no way they had no idea, you know, if I could shoot, no way of knowing if I could shoot well. Or Come on, man, I had to help on defense. I'm going to take me down for that. Some bullshit. I wish it worked. Is there automatic elimination that, okay, listen, we like you, you're great. But here's five things that automatically eliminates you from being in sniper school. You know how back in the days they would say, if you're colorblind, if you're flat footed, yeah. if you have asthma, you know, all these things they would say. Was there any automatic disqualification of sniper school? Oh, yeah. I had my first run in uh, being colorblind. When I wanted my, before I went to the army, I wanted to be a Navy SEAL. Like everybody. Nigga, go to the rack. What are you and, doing? You know, I went to, this nigga's seven feet, feet man. What are you doing, uh, nigga? A recruiter. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, man? The play was set up for you, nigga, to go to the basket, man. Jesus Christ. Give me the ball, man. 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 Give me the ball, man.
Ah! I thought that was Get off me, little and nigga. And I went into the Navy recruiter and I don't care if we up by large, a large amount, substantial amount. But I was red, green, I gotta hold this shit down. And completely disqualified me. So I went to I the can't get no assist. I'm scared to go to the lane. Somehow cheat this nigga seven feet. Not, oh, not the intention of going to join the army, but I just got to cut that scary shit out. Get the nigga. Nurse was there and Come on, move your feet, nigga. To go to the bat. What is this, nigga? Oh, my God, man. How many times is this stupid nigga going to make that same stupid ass play, bro? You can't shoot, nigga. Nigga, over here, you got to got a clear lane to the fucking basket with a mismatch. Oh, my God. This dickhead got crossed. Good block, though. We out. Come on. Come on, Peyton. Get that basket. Come on, nigga. Oh, my God. Yo. Yo. What is going on, man? There's no way you're making that, bro. Get off me, Robinson. Shit, you see me with this Robinson? Wide open. Shoot that. Oh. My. God, yo. Nah, you ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. Nope, Brick. Give me the ball, nigga. Y'all niggas suck, man. I ain't giving y'all niggas nothing. Move. Oh! Cross. Oh! Bing! <laughs> Fucking trash, man. I gotta go off, man. I need, I need some Gatorade in my cup, man. I'm worn out. Uh, Brick. Pass the ball, nigga. Best play on the team. Y'all niggas is trash. Ah, we out of here. Ah! Ah, I ain't gonna go crazy. I'm out. <laughs> this stupid yeah, nigga. Um, I don't, and yeah, television and 2020 vision, um, if they cannot be corrected, that automatically is Um, I don't think there was anything else as far as being flat footed. Uh, but basically, eyesight was the number one thing that was immediately disqualified. Did they recruit you to become a sniper, or did you make the ask? I had to. I had to ask my my platoon, my first my team leader. Then it went up the chain of command before I could actually become or put in the paperwork. You have to put in this package. Yeah, I could sit out this whole uh, quarter, really. Signed off by your chain of command. Sit me down, man. Put me in with like two going, minutes to go. We go down crazy, you know, though. Well, you put up with thirty already. Player or, you know, yeah, man. You I'm ready know, for game uh, two. Little pre qualifications in, in this package that you have to have. Committed to this type of school, they look at it, they only accept so many uh, per year, and that's when the course starts. Eight week, eight week long, and uh, yeah, day one is, you know, the first day, I want to take that back, the first day you can get cut pretty easily, where they shoot in, it's called a shoot in process, where they get Boom. standards, AR, Perfect. Four, right? it. iron sight, no scope on it, and you have to be able to shoot a a out the like gate, you backed up 20 with that trade. I forget how far, 25 meters or something like that. Um, and if you can't, that uh, means uh -huh. he disqualifies you day one. <laughs> I let him have that. Fuck it. Right off the bat, day one. Oh, yeah, that happens. He had like two guys our class. He went in and literally bags still packed. Back Peyton, I mean, who, that's Tatum, bro. He's small. What are you doing? Started, they were already back. Yeah. Those kids Damn, Jalen's like, defense so crazy. Nigga, shoot the fucking... Oh, my God. Dickhead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so then what was it like? I mean, if you go... I'm assuming... I'm assuming sniper school... Get off the fucking bench, man. Ranger, it's fucking stupid shit. Man, it's fucking dumb, yo. I'm assuming it's a different... What does this nigga falling on people in the crowd for? Shit is retarded. It was a... I want to say laid, a little bit more laid back. There was rarely anybody. Oh my yelled, god, man! Or anything. It was like a personal. Shit was um, perfect. It, it was not like what you expect when you try. Not take him down. He trash. We out, nigga. Pass the ball, nigga. You garbage. Really? Oh, we out, nigga. You want to call it that? Uh, oh my uh, fucking god. Only, you have your own responsibilities, and you know that's right. <laughs> Yo, why is this nigga missing all the reverse layups? I can't stand it. I can't stand for it right now. What is going on, man? Not a lot of yelling or fussing. It was crazy. I guess the the, the hard portion of sniper school that you know really stands out is the attention to detail. That there's a lot of attention. To Let y'all get that off. Y'all niggas you know, bums. Right, pass the ball, man. 
Uh, get off me, nigga. You too slow. Uh, you gonna get crossed up too. Y'all niggas won. <laughs> Play down the lane, man. Niggas is sleeping. Twelve hours a day sitting in a classroom, staying awake, watching hours of PowerPoint. Are going out uh-huh. to the field and learning. Oh my you god, know, this little nigga wide open. For, you know, they didn't like give him no respect though. Get off me! Like mm, Jalen? Tired of you, little nigga. That was the hard part, not what I expected. So, Only I nigga on the court with a t shirt on <laughs> with your jersey. Fucking weird. You have to find it. So you're literally sitting there and you have to find it. Yeah, man. Block this nigga, man. Ah, give me that ball. We out. Place out small objects in the in the field. Oh, we out. You know, oh, white boy. Let's go. And you use your naked eyes, binoculars. More Haywood, device, better than that. These ten small objects. It might be a bullet. Oh shit! Uh, Hold on. Uh, oh, it's a string, a military. Oh, that's the one. Toothbrush, small ball stuff like that. Uh, oh, we killed them with the Euro drop step. That was crazy. We out, niggas. Get off me. Hear me? I gotta fucking regulate. Regulate on these Celtics, man. I remember that one season game y'all beat us bad. Now look at us. Washing you niggas. Game over. Well, commonality would be, I would say, the lower aspect. Everyone. I'm on Bluetooth. You bugging out right now. What the fuck is going on? Take a lot of money for this Sony Bluetooth. People who like to think a lot are people who think more than they talk. You know, I would say that was one of the biggest. You could tell a sniper. If you put him in the crowd of people, you would be able to tell. Man, I couldn't get no assist. Them niggas wasn't putting up like nothing. They were scared of the whole, you know, scared of the rack. You know, guys it's not going. going. Closer or anything like that. They were just niggas like, missing all their jump average, shots. Really, really average, average, average guy. Nothing stand out. Nothing stand out. Very average guy. Some guys I looked at and I was just like, I don't know what you're doing here, you know? <laughs> But but one guy on my team that I'm not like uh we all made fun of him, but he was very um he, he wasn't he called he knew he was not attracted to the eye. You know. Man, and bad. he was just a very average, very below maybe a little bit below average for that guy, maybe.